Hello and welcome to uh, episode 74 of Comics and Us. I'm Chris. I'm TJ. And I'm Lumpy. And this is the review show that reviews comics chronologically, kind of. Ah, I got it. See that? I had to do it slow. I had to do it slow, but I I got it. I like that this time around you both worked really hard to get it right instead of the last last time where you guys just screwed it up so badly. I, I, I wish I worked hard, up. though. Like, I thought about writing it down and stuff. I'm like, no, nah, I'm just going to wing it. That's it. Who cares? <laughs> well, judging by the intro, I don't know if you noticed that, but this is uh, still a high this week, and it's Uncle Chris's pick. So where did you pick, Uncle Chris? Uh, well, listen, we started with Batman Spawn, so I figured we'll go Spawn Batman this time. Technically, we started I, with I, Spawn, but... I, well, we started with Spawn. TJ really had a problem with Spawn, so I, I'm going to keep the Spawn theme. I don't know, maybe I'll do Spawn uh, Spider-Man next time, or Spawn Goes to Hell, or Spawn... I don't know, but probably not. <laughs> I like Spawn. I think this is it. I think this is the end of my Spawn, though, because I'm sick of TJ crying about it, so... I, I, will I like com- TJ crying I will about it. complain <laughs> about it every time you pick it. That's fine. I have no problem <laughs> telling you how bad Spawn is. I have no <laughs> yeah, issues. I'll, t- I'll tell you what it is better than Lucky the Pizza Dog. That's what it's better than. That is a false statement. <laughs> I disagree because Lucky the Pizza Dog was like four pages total. It was it was very short. <laughs> also a revolutionary like, comic. Let's let's say six pages total and this is ten times that. <laughs> yes, yes it is. <laughs> because, Lucky the Pizza you know Dog why? Revolutionary. Just try- I do feel like they're just trying to highlight the drawings more than the story itself, you know, so yeah, that's one way of putting it, sure. Alright, so, I guess I should get the credits out of the way. Yeah. Spawn Batman is called Spawn Batman. It was released April 1994. The cover artist was Tom McFarlane and Kiko Taganashi. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know who that is. It was written by Frank Miller. Ugh. Penciled and inked by Todd McFarland. Colored by Steve Oliff and... It- I don't know if this is a name or a, or like a processor or something because it just says o- Oli Optics. Oh, like a company. <laughs> O-L-Y-O-P-T-I-C-S. I'm going to click on it see if it's a person. Oli Optics has no personal history, no professional history, no notes, no trivia, no nothing. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I don't know what Oli Optics is. Never heard of it. Don't know if it's a person, place, or thing. So. Well, appa- apparently it did some of the colors in this. Okay. Holy optics. Okay. Yep. And the letter was Tom Ors. Yeah. I think that's it. I actually should have made Lumpy do the last cover because this yeah, is you yours. Should. Yeah. Which one do you just want to do it then? I'll just leave it up to you guys. Well, I'm going to tell Tom. you this. This cover sucks. So, Uncle really? Chris, you can do it. Yeah. Really? I like the cover. I like the cover. It's typical Todd McFarlane uh, spawn, and Batman's kind of drawn the same way, and it's just a lightning bolt behind it. It's plain. I'm going to be honest with you. I think this is my favorite art in the whole comic. Really? I like Todd McFarlane's drawings. I know you're you're com- almost completely out with it, but I do like them. I don't like the way they draw Batman in this one. That's what I was going to... I don't mind it when yeah. he's drawing Spawn. No, he's great at Spawn, but the Batmans look weird. The Batman... The yeah, because he weird. drew Batman as... Like Spawn, he gave Batman yeah. like very Spawn. I love Todd McFarlane. I love his drawings. I think he's incredible, and I think that's why I think this comic, the beginning here, this this main whatever it's called cover, I cover. think it sucks. It's just it's it's Spawn and it's Batman, and that's it. He didn't put anything else into it. Well, actually, like at that point, that's probably all you need. It right, just get Batman and Spawn on the cover. We'll sell it. Don't worry about it. Get them both and- on there together. And that's how I feel like they did. They're like, yeah. ah, I don't, I don't need to do anything. I just drew these two characters and and I put lightning and that yeah. was it. And I it and I was a little crazy. disappointed. He definitely didn't get crazy. No. Well, I mean, there's the spawn symbol and the Batman symbol on it in Image Comics. It doesn't give a price though. No price. It's free. Actually, where is my? I have a a hard copy of this. So I don't know where it went. Oh well. Okay. Never mind. Okay. I'm just gonna look for the price on the hard copy. But I don't oh, I found now. it! I found it. It's on oh, the back. It it's on the back cover. Gotcha. It's three ninety five in the U.S., five thirty five in Canada. Wow! Whoa. Is this the Canada most expensive again. comic we've done so far? I don't know, but <laughs> this is also a graphic novel, not a comic. Right. So that's they're obviously going to be more expensive. Yeah. 
Anyway, anything else to say about the cover? Uh, there's not much left. Frank Miller, Tom McFarlane, two symbols, done. Okay, so let's go and, well, the first page is technically just more credits and stuff mm-hmm. like that. That you already read. That I already read. Yeah. All right. Actually, I'm curious now. Is Oli Lippics on here? On the Com- cover? Oh. Computer Colors by Oli Optics. Yeah. Okay. So that must be it. Oli Optics must be a company who computerized, like, these colors and, and stuff. Like, somebody drew it, and then when it was being printed, they must have touched it up or something, I'm guessing. What is that in the middle there? Oh, look at that. Spawn vs. Batman is a companion piece to DC Comics' The Dark Knight Returns. It does not represent the current DC continuity. No shit, because Batman in this (laughs) is terrible. The way Frank Miller writes Batman in this is so bad, and it's horrible, and I I hate it. uh, We'll get to it, and there is a... I do have a problem with what they do with Batman in the one point, but... I have... He's he's written like a crybaby meathead the entire... (laughs) comic and it's stupid <laughs> no uh, towards the end he, he he starts talking about how he's much smarter than spawn and stuff but we'll get to it yeah he keeps calling spawn a, a stoop stupid idiot and stuff like that it, it's stupid frank <laughs> miller's di- frank miller's dialogue is terrible his storytelling is terrible this whole what, comic is bad what i don't get is if this is frank miller why is it written like Spawn? Like he's got the inner mo- monologue, you know, the inner dialogue. Well, I think that was the idea because this is supposed to be technically this comic comes right before Spawn number twenty six. Oh, uh, okay. Because this Spawn picks up right after that because one of the homeless fees people sews up Spawn's face and Spawn says, "Some idiot's the one that did this to me." And I remember the that. I do remember previous that. one. Yeah. So. It's technically, I guess, Spawn and uh, is, is for for like a lot of comics after that. He always had that stitch in his face too. Like they were they were sewing it up with like ribbon. Yeah, they had like green thread. Like, yeah. yeah, I didn't actually, to be honest, I didn't put that together until you guys just told me that right now. Right, but I, do remember. I remember at the end of this, and now I'm like, yeah, they had green stitching in his face there for a, a yeah. long time. A long time, yeah. Because it yeah, looked kind of dumb, neat. because they would have, like, the string hanging out or tied in a bow and stuff for some times. Yeah, so I guess this takes place, spawns in the same universe as the Dark Knight Returns, I guess. Okay. But, uh, according to all this. Anyway, let's go into this comic proper, and we open up with the stupid narration. See, I written. like this. Listen, I don't need a lot of dialogue. This is good for me. This is what I like about Spawn. Tell me the story. I don't want to read it in word bubbles through the whole thing. The stupid narration in their head the entire goddamn comic. Yeah, I enjoy that. That's what I like about Spawn. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. I'm not arguing this with you guys again. And it's again, like reading a book. You know what they're thinking. You don't need to, yeah, to hear what they say. But we complain about it when they when we say, "Oh, it's like reading a novel." If I want to read a novel, I'll read a novel. We do it in every other yes. comic. No, but they do it this way, and they don't put so much. Di- they don't put so many words in it, I'm so they do it. Th- I'm not quick in and out. with you that there's too much dialogue in those old comics. There r- really right. is, but by this time in the '90s, that was already scaled back, and this is not good. I like. It. I like that. I, I feel like it flows. I think that it's an mm-hmm. easy read. I, I just do. And maybe it's just because I like Spawn. I, this, I don't know, but this, I do like it. This We read today, when when we put these out, when we are recording them, we did Blade, for uh, first appearance, not his origin story, and <laughs> this. And this took me less time to read, and this is 60 pages. Yes. Yeah, well, and that's that, because that one was 1973, and they still had the dialogue bubble problem where there was, like, too many right. words. Right, right, you're right. Like, well, this is 1994, and at this time, they figured out the formula about when to put, how much dialogue to put in and how much to not to do it. Yeah, but not Spawn always has that. Yeah, because Spawn's terrible. To you, I like this. I want to know what's going on in their heads. (laughs) Batman does inner inner dialogue uh, as it gets, you know, as it moves on, too. Later on, he does. Yeah, later on. No, I mean in in his own comics and in the cartoon, you hear him talk to himself a lot. No, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, not in the 40s. Right, no, not in the 40s. But later on, I read a couple of things, like, going forward for our stuff, and... And yes, he does. And not as much. He's not. It's, he's no spawn. But yeah, it's, he it doesn't does go do on it. for 10 pages. I like that. It I like that it's the, 
tormented mind, like. And it, it, I again, I, I, they do highlight McFarlane's drawing, so they do these little stories, so they don't have to put the word bubbles, and it's mostly just a big drawing and a couple squares telling you the story. I like it. Let's go. Let's. And go. I don't. <laughs> Can I get to you on now? <laughs> yeah, let's go. All right, so we're in an alley with Batman, and he's inner monologuing. Actually, he's not in Erlangen. This narration's weird, because this is this, supposed to be Batman, but it's like a narrate in, narrate in Batman's inner thoughts for him. Yeah, it's almost like they're telling you what he's thinking, but he it's not exactly, you know, it's like what they think he's thinking. Yeah, it's... <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. Anyway, he's in an alley, and then we get our first reveal of Batman, and he looks like a vampire, honestly. Hey, I, his face is completely black. Um, I, just, I don't get it's just a the, shadow. I don't. Oh, uh, you're talking about that one. Yeah, he does look like a vampire now. And I'm, I, I meant the full picture of him. The next page. Oh uh, yeah, and the next page he has, he's got a wound. I mean, like I said, it's not bad. I just don't like it. The, the it's stylized, right. stylization for Batman. Well, with Spawn, the reason they draw his cape like that is because it's alive. Now, why are they drawing Batman's cape with the horns on the sides? I don't know <laughs> yeah, what's going on there. Yeah, that don't make sense. No. Nah. Anyway, Batman's first word is punks. You're lucky I wouldn't eat. And he's walking away from a bunch of, I guess, criminals laid out on the ground. Yeah. And he finds some gloves. They're a pair of battle gloves humming with the power of promise. I wonder if they're going to come back. What, the gloves? Yes. No, I think he puts them away in his vault or something. That's something. Yeah. Yeah, no, they don't <laughs> ever come back at all. <laughs> oh, you mean in this comic. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And then Batman is attacked by a giant robot. Yeah, I like it. And he gets thrown through like a... F- oh, f- I can't think of the word. Why can't I think of the word? What's he get no, thrown through? Railroad or... Uh... No, it's just a wall. There you go. A wall. I can't think of the word wall. Well, um, it's weird because oh, there's okay. like big like metal like truss- like trusses or something. But to me, it maybe looks it like... like may- to me, maybe it is a wall, but it looks like boxes or something. Like a lots of boxes. I don't know. Oh, you know chill. what? I think it's the robot bursting in through the hole, through the wall, uh, and then hitting him out of the wall. Is it? Oh, right. He hits him out of the building. You're right. Yeah, because he yeah. busted through and then knocked him out. Okay. Yes. Anyway, Batman's <laughs> bleeding. Dead. Yeah, I was going to say, now Batman's bleeding already. Yeah. I mean, he got surprise attack, so it does make sense. So, by a giant trying to keep him. See, now this is what I like. Stay conscious. Ignore the pain. Stay conscious. Move slowly. This is the dialogue he's going on in his head. You see, they got to tell you he's he's messed up now. He's got to try to keep himself as cool. They could have done that with just the blood. Yeah, but you don't know that he's, he's getting like, oh my god, I got to keep myself alive. I will anyway. say they they kind of made Batman a little bitch here. They did. Like, I, that's, what I, I did that's why I didn't know who wrote it at first. Just reading it, I didn't really look. And I felt like that it was... Very spawn heavy, like they were making spawn out to be the cool guy and Batman out to be just like the visitor. They, but it's not. They did. That's exactly they did. what it is. They're, the picture yeah. of Batman is almost insulting. Yeah. And, you know, I don't like spawn, so. Right. You have a problem with spawn anyway. I do like this robot. <laughs> like when when you find out what's going on with the robot, I think that's, that's a cool thing. But it's definitely more spawn like. But it's, we barely touch on that. I know, we, I know. I wanted to get more into it, and it's just like, what is going on here? So Batman punches the robot's glass plate thing, and inside there's a human. And you see, yeah, you just see the eye at first. Yeah, and apparently he's not in control of the robot, and he's not wondering where he is. And so Batman does things to the robot. I don't know. He's kicking it and stuff. He breaks it apart to try to free what's human inside, and he finds out it's just. A head. Yeah. (laughs) And he pulls the head away, and now it's no longer a person, he says. It's just a piece of evidence. Yeah. He must kill the guy by pulling it out of there. He doesn't do it on purpose. He's trying to save him, but... I thought that was kind of a neat thing. And then the next page after that is TJ's thing he hated from the original Spawn comic. Because now we got more freaking newsreels. Yeah, the newsreels are wordy, too. Like, they don't do it a whole lot in this one, but in them first couple Spawn... Uh, comics, there would be full pages of these news people. That's and, one thing I agreed with. I never yeah. even read them in the first ones. I completely right. just skipped them. They weren't important. They didn't lose anything to and, the story. Well, the, in the first ones, the weird part was it was like three different opinions. It was like all the different um, sides of the story. And it was like, why do I care about this? I understand. Yes. 
And we're getting introduced to some lady who's doing some charity work or some crap. Dr. Yeah. Margaret Love. Yeah, I wonder why we're getting introduced to her. We'll find out, I'm sure. And then we get a stylized drawing of the Batcave. I like it. The giant penny, like- the dinosaur, the Joker picture. I like the Joker picture. I actually yeah. really like the way that's done. And yeah, Alfred- What I don't like is Batman in that picture. What's going on with his spawn cape? Right, why is his cape so yeah. giant and alive? Right. And then Alfred comes in to give him tea while he's staring at a decapitated head. And he looks goofy, right? Yeah, yes. it's stupid like, looking. Yeah, he looks very pouty, like he's got his chin out. I don't know why they did that to him. And, like, Batman would not be just staring at the stupid head as it's whatever is going on here. He'd be on the computer looking at the analysis or whatever. He wouldn't be just... This is just grim for the sake of being grim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's trying to figure out how to get his identity. He, yeah, he's got teeth. No shit, Batman would have already had his teeth out and analyzed He just got already. there. He didn't even get his tea yet. He just got there. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. He didn't even get his tea. What do you expect? So... I don't I I wasn't sure if I should bring this up or not, but now that we're doing this, so <laughs> I read some other stuff and and I'm and I'm curious now. They say that actually Todd McFarlane hates Batman. Really? They That's said possible. that he actually mentioned it in an interview, but I can't vouch for that. Like I didn't read it or, or see the interview. Right. And I and I wonder now that we're like saying all this, I'm like, well, Maybe that's why it's this way. Yeah, but this McFarlane one's not written by it. Todd McFarlane. You think Todd was... But it's uh, drawn by him. Right, it's, but I'm saying you think he manipulated uh, Frank Miller while they were writing it, or what? I mean, it is Image Comics, and right, so yeah. it is under his... I mean, I guess it was both under their brands, but still. Yeah. I don't I'm know. just curious, because, again, I like this comic. I had no issue with it, but I do understand, like, it when when you read it, Batman kind of sucks in this comic. Yeah, it kind of sucks, like, and the weird part is Spawn looks great, but Batman yes, looks kind of goofy. They made him look like almost frumpy, like, and then they yeah. make him like really dumb. Like, I, it right. would make sense if McFarlane did hate Batman for real. And like and, on, on this next page, Alfred is drawn better than Spawn is. <laughs> than I mean, be- draw better than Batman is. They don't even show yeah, like, the details of Batman's face in most of the comic. The, the, most of the comic, they yeah. don't. And they gave Batman Spawn's cape. <laughs> yeah. It's... Yeah, yeah the, like the cape's, it. like, following him around like it's alive. Yeah. Well, you also have to keep in mind, this is, like, three years after Image Comics was formed, and they all... These artists left the right. other two big companies, and they're True. still, you know... There is, still at odds. They were, like, still at odds with each other, and... Then, and there's know, that bitterness, you know? There was that business there, like how they keep, how DC and Marvel are keeping the superheroes locked up and under their own thing, and all right. that bitterness that is oozing in this comic. It's all it there. shows. I can say that that it yeah. shows in this comic. Anyway, Alfred tries to give him tea. Batman doesn't want his tea, and he gives Alfred the head and says, "Go put this in a vault or something. Go put, put it on, on ice. ice. The gloves, gloves go in the vault. The, gloves go in the vault. Whatever." And then we cut, because oh, he's got to go to New York City for reasons I forget. Well, and Alfred, even here, like, kind of makes Batman out to be an asshole. He's like, as you wish, sir, and a, and a pleasure speaking with you, as always. Like, yeah, really? whatever. Just get out of here. Like, that's not Batman. <laughs> it's not Alfred either. I mean, Alfred's And it's always, not Alfred. You're right. Alf- Alfred's always been a smartass and always keeps yeah. Batman in check. But he doesn't, like, it's not passive-aggressive like that. Not right. like that, no. Anyway, this guy with the decapitated head belonged to a 42-year-old vagrant with a cute alcohol, who was an acute alcoholic last seen in New York. That's why we're going to New York. That's why we're going to New York, right. We're, we're really going to New York because that's what Spawn is, but that's... Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like the drawing of the next page where he goes, when he's going to New York. Yeah, Batman does not look bad there, although... I don't, well, I don't see Batman there. I just see his crazy cape, right? I see giant bat wings. Yeah, I was going to say, there are 40 foot tall wings coming off. Like, of I them. don't I don't like Batman there now that I scrolled down. Wow, I just saw the wings. But if you scroll down, Batman looks like crap again. He looks like fat and his head's weird, right? Does he look like a chubby Batman? Yeah, I didn't see it like that until you pointed it out. <laughs> but the, the I city, said like, they drew him like frumpy, like he's yeah. not. I don't know. When you start to pull this stuff apart, I do kind of like, and I'm like, I'm a little disappointed in some of that, but. Right. 
I got through it. I thought it was okay. I do like this one better than the other one, the War Devil one. But um, yeah. I now like that we're point, now that we're going through now we're going through slowly. I don't like the way they drew Batman at all. Yeah. But at least in that other one, they were kind of equals. Well, right. and that's what I'm saying. In this one, they are not. No. no it no, is clear that Spawn hand, most of the time. It, yes, yes. It is very clear that Spawn has the upper hand here. Yeah. But here's, like, Batman gets to New York and starts remembering when his parents got killed because they're in the city. Yeah, because we needed to bring that up for the thousandth time. Yeah, we always bring that up for some reason. Actually, in, when, when we're reading in the 40s, they don't bring it up that much at all. No, they brought it up once. <laughs> once, yeah, and then, and then a recap once after that, I think, and that was it. Yeah, yeah it's true. They did do it twice, I'm sorry. They did the origin yeah. of Batman twice. Yeah. And um, newsreels. Just yep. an opinion piece here. I mean, that's what Pete Davidson built his career on, and his dad died. So, I mean, it's just a New York thing, you know? I don't even know who Screw that is. That. <laughs> <laughs> no idea who that is. Good. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> you'll, when, the, when, the, uh, when, the, when people start to comment on my comment there, you'll learn. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever. We cut over to more news reels about homelessness and that Batman's in New York. Yay. And somehow Batman stumbles across an alley where Spawn's talking to some homeless people. Because Batman's going to the alleys where that bum was. Okay. That's it. And one of the guys is talking about how they talked to seeing Al get killed or something. And then introducing Spawn, who looks fine. He's Spawn. Yeah, who looks? Who is a great, absolutely perfect drawing of Spawn, and for some reason Batman doesn't have a face half the time. So, but then we cut over to, as the comic says, a couple of sick jerks out to do, out for what sick jerks call a good time, because this is good writing. Well, listen, the people in the Spawn universe are... are Disgusting. Like, uh, this happens all the They're time. They're scumbags. Yeah, everybody's yes. a scumbag in Spawn's universe. Yeah, it but you, true. Didn't, you didn't need the arrow to tell me that they're jerks. No, nah, well, once you see they're going to set a homeless guy on fire, you figure out that they're jerks. You're right. Yeah, you don't need yeah, that, yeah. that little dialogue there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Anyway, these two sick jerks dump gasoline on a sleeping homeless person. He doesn't wake up, and he's a, they're about to set him on fire, but the flames come back towards them because Spawn used his magic. Yep. And then Spawn, like, interrogates them a little bit. And huh. the idiot... Go ahead. No, go ahead. The idiots, instead of, like, running away or whatever, try to shoot Spawn. And then Spawn kills them. Yep. He does. He murders them. I mean, Which, they tried to kill him first. Yeah. But and he another does, guy. He does burn them alive. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> Which is fine. Because that's what Spawn does. Yes, yes it, it is true to his character, so... But, but this, Batman this is, don't like that. Batman doesn't like it because he doesn't like murder. Right, Which correct. is also fine, but my problem is the way he goes about it. It's like, he, it makes they make it seem like that him not wanting Spawn to kill somebody is a bad thing. Oh, like he's trying to stop Spawn from killing bad guys. Yeah, and they're like, yeah. that's a bad thing, Spawn should kill all the bad guys. Yeah. Well, in 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 the in the Spawn universe, um, they're looking at Batman like he's an idiot because instead of locking these people up or doing that stuff, Spawn just kills them. Right? Yeah, I know. Which you know, in reality, from what I know about Spawn, won't they just go to hell and turn into minions for Satan and be sent back well, up to do more damage? That's the whole problem. That's the whole catch twenty two of the Spawn comic is everybody, all the bad guys that he's killing are becoming part of the army. <laughs> Which right. is, again, why Spawn yeah. doesn't want to use his powers, because right. that's what happened. And his powers it's the whole are limited, premise of Spawn. and he knows. Yeah. But it's, they're just, it's like they're saying, Batman's stupid for doing this, but he's doing the same exact thing. Right. I agree. And, and again, I, we yeah. see the, the lopsided drawing here, because you see Batman comes in and attacks Spawn, right? Yes. But Spawn looks awesome again. He's got his, his, his burn-up face, and he's got all his mind. And then Batman doesn't have a face. Has no he face. Look, he looks like a Looney Tunes character. Yes. Yeah, he's got big giant teeth and white eyes and no face at all. He does. It looks like he, he's a what a, a mock mockery of what Batman is and what a Looney Tunes right. cartoon would be. Yeah, I, I think that that's what they were going for. Almost like I feel like they were really mocking Batman in this comic. Like they're trying to make him look goofy compared to Spawn. Yeah. 
I think I, I kind of that's what I'm getting out of it. Maybe well, they it is, also maybe it isn't. I don't know, but they also make them super weak in comparison to Spawn. Absolutely. Yeah. Which I mean, in, in his defense, you know, Spawn does have all the powers of hell. Where Batman's just a guy. Yeah, you know, dude, Batman is fair. just a guy. Yeah. To be fair, sense. I will agree. He is. He and is it's just not a like guy. he knew who was Spawn. What? At least I'm assuming he doesn't know who Spawn. Yeah, was. it doesn't seem like he does. But Spawn knows who he is, but he doesn't know who Spawn is. All I know is that eventually uh, Batman brings up Clark, and he should just send Clark to take care of Spawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he should have just went back and got Clark. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Batman does get the upper hand of, a little bit in the beginning here and throws Spawn into, like, through a wall and stuff. He punches him. Right, well, that's because Spawn wouldn't use his powers in the beginning. But during the whole narration, Batman's saying, yeah, I'm doing this, but man, is he hard to hit and take down. Yeah, it and feels like, like a that. slab of granite and like, a kick in a, a rock and, yeah. And so Batman brings out a few batter eggs and throws it at him, but it just bounces off his chains. Okay, and Batman has no face. Yeah, Batman's and no covered face in again. there. Yeah. yeah. And then he tries kicking Spawn, but that's not doing anything. So he remembers he has his utility belt and brings out nerve gas. What? Now, I, I, and also, does Spawn breathe? Apparently, according to this comic, I mean... Yeah, because I don't know if he's dead. I mean, he's... Yeah, I thought he was dead, but I yeah, yeah that's a tough one. Yeah, that's but a tough one. I, whatever, he is it, dead, it works. right? But maybe, but maybe he's got to use that body anyway. You know, he's still got a human body, right? So yeah, I don't know, but apparently, but they can like cut his arm off and he co- and it comes back. So I don't know, whatever. Anyway, Batman throws nerve gas and it makes Spawn cough. And but Batman using isn't nerve gas deadly to Batman to anybody. I don't know enough about nerve gas. Yeah, I don't know what kind of nerve gas Batman has. Maybe he has weak nerve gas. I'm just saying, it's just weird. (laughs) And why is it affecting Spawn but not Batman? Because it it never affects the person who uses it, remember? Oh, right. right. Comic logic. Yeah, yeah. But we're 50 years in the future now. so Yeah, apparently it's still going on. (laughs) Rules are rules, TJ. (laughs) Comic rules are comic rules. If If you throw it out there, it doesn't affect you. Anyway, Batman gets spawned down, and he, Batman asks him if he had enough, and he spawns says, in your dreams. And then we get an off-screen ass-kicking of Batman. They yeah, no, us. we get an off-screen ass-kicking of Spawn while Spawn's trying to talk himself into not using his power. Because it is feels that like what cheating. happened there? Yeah, it feels like yes. cheating, thinks Spawn. It is cheating. Using the magic to make himself wow. strong and beat the crap out of Batman is cheating. I'm not going to lie. I was tuned out by the narration at this point. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of was. Just, I just assumed this is where Batman got his ass kicked. Well, maybe it is. You're right. Maybe it is because Spawn must use his powers because it, it doesn't even go back to Batman and it says, I'm overpowered. Batman realizes it's retreat or die, which never, never would Batman retreat. Yeah, no, it's bullcrap. Yeah. Because it, it, they show Batman retreat in here and Spawn still coughing, but in the next panel, Batman's lying in the alley, like, and it's saying he's readjusting his bones and stuff. Yeah. And yeah, if Batman's shoulder back in. And- if Batman did retreat, he would find a, he would be back with a way to, to finish this guy off. Right. He would have retreated around the corner and have six traps waiting for him. Yeah. 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 Right, he twists his, his, he puts his arm back in its socket. He twists his spine to get it a little less tangled. But he realizes that that guy was holding back. So apparently Spawn could have killed him if he wanted to. Right. And he yeah. realizes that Spawn is magic now, too. Right. That he's a superhuman abilities. But if this is in the same universe as The Dark Knight Returns, like I said, Batman takes down Superman in that comic. Right. Right. But I don't know. I mean, do you think Superman could take out Spawn? Well, I think in raw abilities he could. But Spawn's magic and Superman's weak against magic. <laughs> Right, and yeah, Spawn's and magic, Spawn's... and they just regenerate him eventually, you know. It's, right, yeah. he's, but Spawn's dead, so d- I don't know that. But right. I th- I definitely think someone like Shazam could take him easily. Yeah. Shazam's all magic. Yeah, but this is magic from hell. Yeah, and... <laughs> <laughs> it's hell's magic, it's the fury of hell. Is Shazam alive? Shazam's alive, yeah. Shazam has the power of gods in his body. Mm. That's a good fight then, I guess. I want to see that. <laughs> yeah, it's a good fight. And each of the letters Shazam stands for a god, like the speed of um, Achilles and stuff like that, or whatever it was. Hmm. 
the wisdom of Hermes or some you know it's something stupid like that. I don't yeah. forget what it yeah. is. Yeah. So apparently Spawn's going somewhere. Yeah, I don't know what happens here. I don't oh, know. I was going how... to see a junk a junkie named Silvo led Spawn here. Seemed to know something. You know, the junkie led them here, but I don't know why he's going here. Right. That's right after the fight too, huh? Oh yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, the building. Oh, no, I don't know why he's doing it either. Yeah, Spawn. It takes him twelve seconds instead of ten seconds to pick the lock. Now, um, and he breaks into this building. Yeah, goes in, gets attacked by and, the robot, and uh, he gets, now he gets attacked by the robot. Yeah, a different yeah. robot. It's the same kind of robot, just with yeah, a different same, head inside. Yeah, a different person's head. And Spawn takes it down easy. He uses a giant gun because, of course, he does. Yeah, and, and then I thought. That this was like something I didn't know. I thought she was like helping Spawn, the the lady on the screen. Uh I thought it was like a Madam Web kind of thing going on, you know? And I'm like, I don't know who this person is. And then I realized she's the bad guy. Yeah. um, So Spawn's talking to the severed head. I don't know how it's still talking. When Batman severed the head earlier, it it did stop talking. But this one keeps talking. And then on the TV, we get the the news real lady from earlier who's the bad guy talking i guess it's like a talking to the robots and telling them it's like like pre-recorded or something oh uh, yeah. right it's yeah like that's video. what it is it's there it's almost like a training video but the guy, the head talks to spawn because spawn can talk to the dead true oh okay that's why the head is still yeah, talking yeah, yeah. like spawn can be in his mind in this dead guy's mind he's right. that that's why how can he be in a dead guy's mind when the, there's no mind there if he's dead? There is. That's why Spawn still walks. The mind is still there. I was under the impression Spawn's in like a living body, though. Like he's he got is, functions. but his yes, but he's a soul that is there, so his soul can still talk to other souls. But what I'm saying, if that guy's dead, his soul shouldn't be there anymore. Well, it is. It didn't leave yet. Still it in... didn't split yet. That's all. It didn't. Have... It's still hanging Any... around a little bit. Any body part that Spawn can come in contact with can it can contact the soul. Okay, I don't care. Whatever. It's mainly because you hate Spawn. Right, right. You're not trying to learn any of it, so just move on. (laughs) Uh, Anyway, we learned that she's the bad guy. Yeah, and her voice is like music, hypnotizing. And that she smiles when people die. Yeah, that really freaks Spawn out. Like, he never saw some... He saw a, a guy who, who, like, killed children that would smile the entire time. I don't know why this is different to him. I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Anyway, Batman's still patching himself up, and then there's a bat signal in New York City. I love that Batman puts his band-aids over his mask. <laughs> 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 and his bandages over his gloves and over his outfit. Anyway, this part really made me mad. Because he goes to this the bad guy woman, and she's like, Spawn's gonna kill me. Like As if Batman doesn't know she's the bad guy already. And Right, world's greatest detective. Uh-huh, this, this is bullshit. You're not in Gotham. Somebody puts a bad signal up, it's a setup. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, a strange he, but welcome sight. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's stupid. Anyway, she's pretty much saying, hey, Spawn's a bad guy. I'm not the bad guy. Go kill Spawn. Okay. Yeah. Meanwhile, yeah. Spawn's back in the alley talking to the homeless people, coughing up the nerve gas still. Well, Batman calls Alfred, and they, Alfred sends him a package, too. Does he? Yeah. So, okay. I don't know what that's all about, but... Well, we find out in the next scene because Batman re shows up with the power gloves. Ah, wow. I wonder if they were coming back. Or is it two or just one? Does he just have one? I don't know. It looks like yeah, just one. I think one. he only has one. As yeah. to say, I think it's just one. Yeah. That's a cool drawing you know, of Batman, except for they cover his damn face again. But in the next, after that big jumping scene, the next thing says the power gloves, plural. plural so who knows? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and, you know. Apparently, Batman's cape is larger than Spawn's. And alive, too. And Batman starts beating Spawn up with the power glove, and they get into another fight because Batman believes Spawn's the the bad guy in all this. Meanwhile, Spawn's trying to think Batman is working for the bad guy lady, and maybe he's not the hero she should be. Yeah. So, they're fighting. Well, Batman's, Batman says Spawn's a sloppy, stupid fighter with no discipline. Yeah. He does. <laughs> And Spawn calls him an idiot, and he'll tear him apart. Yeah, Batman calls and, him a punk, yeah. And then he's like, Spawn's like, 
you're talking trash, it won't help you. It's all just stupid dialogue. Spawn it's it, it, dirty. It has nothing to do with the dialogue. It's all about the, the, the punching and the... Yes. Yeah, it all yes, is. It's, watch it's, the... just, it's just a bunch of scenes so they can fight to a draw. Yeah. So that a, the giant robot can attack them both and kill Batman. Kills Batman. Yeah, and kill it, Batman. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. But Batman, like, just fought Spawn forever. And then this thing comes in and just kills him. And just stabs him. And he's dead. He lost all of, all of his blood is drained. And his heart stops. He's dead. They yeah, kill Batman. Yeah. And it's, now Spawn. Is, yeah. Go ahead. This I'm is, sorry. This, this is bullshit. Yeah, I don't like this either. I didn't. I didn't like this the first time around, to be honest with you, when I read it myself, either. And Spawn's like, oh my god, they're killing him. As if yeah. he wasn't trying to do so a moment ago. Why well, does he care he's... all of a sudden? Because now they're buddies. Uh-huh. Well, anyway, <laughs> Spawn uses his magic to destroy the stupid robot, and then... It destroys the robot in one second that killed Batman. Yeah, exactly! <laughs> And then Batman's saying magic tricks, no way to fight, no discipline, keeps repeating it over, and Spawn's <laughs> like, Spawn's like, I'm going to bring you back to life and go into your mind. He's like, don't go in my mind. He's yeah. like, I'm going into your mind. Don't go in my mind. You keeps, <laughs> get a choice, and they are already. Yeah, yeah keep doing it. Get out of my head. Get out of my and head. Then, and then Spawn's in his head, and I guess they learn about each other and about the bad guy. They trade a few pieces of each other. I do like the next... Um... The next drawing with the zombie and the, 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 I don't know, Batman don't look great, but the bat looks cool and the blood. Isn't that just Spawn? What, the zombie? Yeah, I think yeah. that's Spawn. But the other one, Batman looks like a robot or something. Yeah, he's just got, like, teeth showing. Yeah, I don't it looks like, like um, It looks like the original Iron Man helmet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, like, the Iron Giant. Yeah. <laughs> and so I guess Batman's sees that she smile too and that's you know that damn her and her smile yeah her smile really bothers them and then spawn's like do you get it now and batman's like yeah i get it now we're on i guess we're on the same side now yeah let's go we got work to do and um batman's like stay out of my head and spawn's like there's nothing i'd rather do do you ever think about getting help coming from spawn <laughs> Yeah, he says that's a scary place to him. He's been in hell. He thinks Batman's head's scary. Uh, yeah. Batman's mind is that <laughs> scary. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Batman calls him a, a dead punk that won't shut up, and they got work to do. It's still such a weird thing. Yeah. And it, like, then we get like a giant splash page of Spawn, and then Batman, because I guess they didn't feel like doing panels in that one. They just wanted no, to waste but- one page. This, this this is just McFarlane highlighting it, but I do like the way Sp- uh, Batman's drawn there. I do like that. I actually do, and his yeah. face is there now. Like he's ha- he has a really good shape now. Yeah. All right, we cut over to a ship because we're on ships a lot recently. Yeah, people like ships. And the bad guys there with like the president and stuff. I don't know what she's displaying because she keeps, she says people are bad. And she opens up like this big war panel and reveals yeah. nothing. <laughs> I don't know what that I is. Say, all she does is reveal that the floor panel opens. Yeah, that's In all the she hold. she doesn't. Reveal oh, there you go. In the hold, an arsenal built for war that was never fought. Is I it all see... bombs? I, yeah, I, I think it's all nukes. It okay. doesn't look like it. It just looks like pipes to me. Yeah, yeah I think it's, it's supposed stacked to be nukes, up though. Nukes. Yeah, you're right. Oh, whatever. Anyway, she uh, is going on about how bad people are and that they're going to, you know, heal the world, I guess, by destroying it. And there right. was a line in here that really just bugged me in the dialogue it, when you said, in the hold, an arsenal built for a war that was never fought. A hush falls over the crowd as two generals trade high fives. Why? Because there's bombs they high five. I guess because she's talking about people are stupid and so they high five over it. Yeah, it's I just don't know. A, it's just a stupid line. <laughs> yeah, it's <just> kind of dumb. <laughs> it's like <laughs> if you wanted to just draw it up there, if that's what you wanted to do, why are yeah. you telling me? Because I don't want to have to look through. I want to. I want to be told. No, that's I not dialogue know. bubbles. That's that should be drawn. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. Anyway, Batman shows up with Spawn. And Spawn is, like, try- being noisy, and Batman's like, you're doing it wrong, you have to be quiet like this. And you're nothing but a uh, blunt instrument, and then, and that he's so much smarter, and that, from all indications, that Spawn is dumber than Clark. Who's Clark? None of your business. Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shot at Superman there, which is yes. annoying too. Apparently Super- Clark's dumb. Clark Kent can learn anything in like two seconds. So <laughs> he's dumb. Tell- yeah. Can't he's dumb, alright. <laughs> anyway, they they fight through robots or something. I don't know what's going on here. It just looks like chains and shit. Right. And then there's a bunch of explosions and and then Spawn kills the main bad guy anticlimatically. Mm, Batman tries well, to stop him from killing him. I was gonna say Batman says no you fool, she doesn't have to die. Yeah. And, and but in the next battle she's dead. Yes. Okay. Right. Batman and couldn't be- stop him apparently. And because b- because Spawn killed her, she presses the button and a nuke goes fired off. What? Um. Yeah, she had the button. That was her backup plan. <laughs> so she just has the capability of launching a nuke from that ship. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Batman say, "Do something, Spawn, you idiot!" And then he teleports them to the nuke. The, the nuke. Bunk. Yeah. And I guess they just ride it into the ocean. And well, well, they, they disarm no. it. Batman disarms it, and then they push it into the ocean. Is that in the dialogue? Because I don't see him doing that at all. It is. They uh, talk it about is. it. They talk about how it's built it, It's built to be confusing. And um, where does it say? It says it in here. Because what I see is a green flash, then a hang glider over a missile, then Batman and Spawn, then a picture of like a hand, then some buildings, and then right, two hands. the thing. It does say that Batman's a genius, and mine's so brilliant, it re- revolutionized the field of f- physics. Yes. And so skillful, skillful, they could serve as a concert pianist or a safe cracker. And then Batman disarms it. It's dead. That's it. It's dead. Get us out of here. And then they blip out, and the city is saved. Except that I see just a bunch of capes, or hang gliders, or whatever yeah, they I'm, are. I'm not impressed with that. Like, Stop doing that with Batman's cape. I understand Spawn's cape does that. Stop doing that with Batman's cape. Batman's cape does not do that. It no. does not do that. Ever. The, 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 Spawn's cape is alive and defies gravity and stuff. Batman's cape doesn't do that. It's weird. No, Batman's cape is just a cloth. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty fair. It's probably like bulletproof rubber or Kevlar or something like yeah, that. Yeah, even still. Yeah. Fine. Fine. <laughs> but it's just a it is just a cape. It, it is yeah. inanimate. It, it, it is inanimate. very right. inanimate. It doesn't move by itself. <laughs> right. I think that's my only real like when I read this and I kept looking, I'm like, that well, is not Batman's cape. It's not. I, I didn't like the cape, Batman's but I didn't really have that much of a problem with the drawings. And now I have total problem with the Batman drawings. Only with the cape is, I mean, the other drawings I have a problem with that they were just, they didn't want to draw his face and stuff. They're purposely hiding his face all it's the time. It's purpose. Yes. Yeah. I, and I get it. And I'm like, looking back now, I get it. They, they just, they were yeah. downplaying Batman here. Yeah. Anyway, the nuke crashes into the the ocean. And Disarmed. Everybody's safe. Spawn teleports them back to an alley, and then Batman's like, "This isn't over. We're gonna meet again." And Spawn's like, "You better hope we don't, because I'm, I could have you for breakfast because of bad dialogue." And then Batman says, "And we'll meet again, and the next time." next time and then so on so why don't you just knock it off for a second we just saved the city why don't we bury the hatchet and then batman says bury this and throws a batarang into his face yes and he keeps that scar that cut open wound for a long time (laughs) and that's the end of batman spawn yeah and then there's don't worry hold on there's There's a couple couple splash pages afterwards yeah there's a couple cool splash i like that the the spawn with the batarang in his face is kind of cool and then there's a a memory like that and then there's an in memory of Jack Kirby, 1917 to 1994. I guess he just died that year. Yeah. Oh. Greatest Jack Kirby was the greatest artist in history of comics. This effort is dedicated with respect to the finest talent any of us have ever witnessed. Todd McFarlane. And then on the back, you get a bio for Frank Miller and Todd McFarlane. Yeah. So um, uh, I, th- I think on my uh, my. Hiatus episodes. I'm going to stick with the uh, Batman crossovers for a little while, and I just picked one. So stay tuned for when we when when we go on hiatus next year. <laughs> There's a lot of Batman crossover stuff, but yeah, I, f- I found one that I want to try. Yeah, that's about it on this one. Uh, let's go to guess what I didn't do. <laughs> I didn't do the synopsis again. Well, yeah, I forgot again. <laughs> I hated this comic. I thought it was shit. Yeah, I like this one. 
Um, I liked it. But you you have a problem with Spawn. You're never gonna like Spawn. So I not only do I have a problem with Spawn, I hate Frank Miller's writing. I think he's a yeah. terrible writer. I I don't know anything other than this really from Frank Miller, but I will say I don't like I, I don't like what Frank Miller did to Batman in this. So that's my only right. opinion I can draw. And of. that's my problem with Frank Miller in general. The things he does to Batman, like everyone tells that Dark Knight Returns, I think it's overrated and shit. Honestly, yeah, I don't. I thought like it was it. okay. I I like it, but it's not. Yeah, it's not great. I don't I, think um, it was. I think I don't like it. McFarlane had a big hand in the writing of this, too. I don't think it was just Frank Miller. No, no. But Frank Miller <laughs> is the reason Batman got so dark for so long right. and ruined Batman for a long time. Yeah, I like a dark Batman. That's why I did like Batman. No, dark but this is, this is dark, it. broody, crybaby Batman. Yeah, this one's a little weird. Where everything, I have to do everything myself and no one can help me because I am Batman. Right. It's, I hate I hate that version of Batman. I don't like Frank Miller, and I think his writing sucks. I um, didn't like the Dark Knight movies. I don't know anything else. But um, the appearances are this is what I got for appearances on this one. You ready? Batman, Spawn, Alfred Pennyworth. <laughs> that's it. I mean, it that's says villains, I mean. and there's a blank space, and then it said other characters, and there's a blank space. Apparently, we're not even going to talk about that Love Woman. Apparently, she's not even in it. So. Margaret Love. Yeah. I mean, she matter. honestly, she was barely in it anyway. Yeah, it's just it was she was more nothing more than a plot device. Yes, this this says following this issue in Spawn twenty is Spawn twenty one where Spawn's friend Bobby stitches up his face with a shoelace. That's what it was. I said a ribbon. It's a shoelace. Yeah. For a while, he keeps that shoelace on his face. <sighs> so that's it. You feel better now, TJ? Now that it's over? No, because I had to read the damn thing. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna find some spawn. We're gonna do some spawn, but it ain't gonna be soon. We're gonna be I, we're gonna step out for that a little bit. I hate spawn so much. <laughs> the story's really good. I, I love it. Not from what I read, and yeah. I read a bit of it. I read like, like ten pages, and then we got to one where it was like an allegory for Superman and a cage, and everything was like. Yeah, like, you also have a big problem with their bitterness. Yes. Back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Their, their bitterness. Their, their bitterness of everything. Sure. Yeah. I don't mind that they fight it back and they started their own company. That's good for right. them on that, but it doesn't have to stem over to your work. Yeah, it, the crying is a little annoying to do. There's that. a lot of I'll there's a lot of times where it's like a full on protest in the comic. It is <laughs> right. Like, yeah. do you need do you need to do that? You can be successful right. without. And without. I get I'm you're okay mad at it, but I get you're mad at the company. But do you have to tr- shit on the characters that people like? You know, well, like they were, yeah, they were felt like they were being oppressed. By demand, and they wanted to do something about it. But Batman's not oppressing them. Batman no, did Batman's, nothing to Batman's writers and overlords was. <laughs> but that's it. I got nothing else for this one. Um, uh, we made it through. Yes. So uh, you want to hear a joke? <laughs> Listen, I couldn't find a spawn joke, so I found a hell joke, and it said, uh, "Why did the devil put exercise equipment in hell so he can exercise the demons?" Come on. There was nothing really. Long. I couldn't find anything. <laughs> because I, I I tried to look up spawn jokes and it just kept giving me respawning like video game jokes and I'm like really oh, because DJ. spawn spawn's terrible. That's why no one likes spawn. Joke about it's very serious. You, you leave the recording for this one. Yep. <laughs> really? <Because> <laughs> really? For that one, you decide to leave the recording for yeah. that because one. Because Spawn's, there's no humor to Spawn because it, it's terrible. It's That's very why. serious. It's Spawn's very, very serious. seriously stupid. That's what it is. I can't believe you. You cut him off on the, on the other one.